Welcome to the GT Lite T8 Ballast Bypass Guide. This video covers how to bypass the ballast of older fixtures so you can retrofit with our T8 LED bulbs. Before beginning any installation on an electrical circuit, be sure to remove power from the circuit at the breaker box. First, double check that the rating of the lamp matches the voltage of the current circuit. Next, check to see if the fixture has shunted or non-shunted lamp holders. Shunted fixtures generally have lamp holders with sockets on only one side of the lamp holder, whereas non-shunted lamp holders will generally have sockets on both sides of the lamp holder. Please note that if you are not sure if your fixture is shunted or non-shunted, always follow the shunted wiring schematics. Non-shunted lamp holders can create a circuit with the shunted wiring, but shunted lamp holders cannot create a circuit with non-shunted wiring. Next, remove the old bulbs from the light fixture, and then remove the ballast cover. Disconnect all the wires attached to the ballast as closely as you can to the ballast. It is best practice to leave the ballast in place after having disconnected the wires. Take note of the hot and neutral wires that are coming into the fixture. This portion of the video will cover shunted fixtures. Designate one side of your fixture to be wired as hot and the other side of the fixture to be wired as neutral. For example, we will be using the left side as our hot side and the right side as our neutral side. Connect the wires leading to the hot side of the fixture to the black incoming wire and then connect the wires leading to the neutral side of your fixture to the white incoming wire. Install the bulbs into the bypass fixture and reconnect the power. Test that the bulbs turn on properly. If there is any flickering, double check all the wiring connections or call the manufacturer. This portion of the video will cover non-shunted fixtures. On the non-shunted lamp holder, designate one side and one wire to be hot and the other to be neutral. In some cases, you may have to cut a wire in half so you can power each bulb. If you do so, be sure that each wire can reach its respective lamp holder. It is best practice to keep these colors and charges consistent across all fixtures that you rewire. Connect all wires designated as hot to the black wire coming into the fixture. and then connect all wires designated as neutral to the white wire coming into the fixture. Install the bulbs into the bypass fixture and reconnect the power. Test that the bulbs turn on properly. If there is any flickering, double check all the wiring connections or call the manufacturer. Your installation is now complete and you can enjoy your new LED light for years to come. 